Just introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Frankie Roof, uh, I'm, uh, or Frank Roof sometimes known as, and um, I'm a genealogist, a family historian, um, tour guide, all the names associated with history here in Fermanagh, and have been for, for probably the last 40 years. And Frankie, we had a tour yesterday. Would you tell our audience the name of those cemeteries yes. we visited yesterday? We visited, uh, we visited Ardes Cemetery. We visited Drumkieran or Tubridge Cemetery. We visited Irvinstown Clock Tower Cemetery. We visited Colity Cemetery. That's your wife's people, isn't it? And we visited Terwinnie. Terwinnie. Tear Winnie. Tear Winnie. That's the other one. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's really all. We've been in there, wouldn't it? Six, six and cemeteries. Around this area, there's a Tempo Agave. Agave is Agave. Agave. Where a lot of people left and went to America in the 1700s and the early 1800s. Agave. Large groups of different family names, but all associated. Through, through really Scottish River Connection families. Okay, they all they all moved together in groups from uh, different time frames. Uh, from the Ahaloher, which is both at Lisnaski and outside of Brookwood as well. There are two main cemeteries, one in or just in the outskirts of Lisnaski, and one uh, not that far from Brookwood. And both of those are, are Church of Ireland, but the same parish. Okay. And what was the name of the parish that uh, that we visited yesterday? The overall name it was the overall name of the area, the total area, yeah. or the ancient. It's it's an it's an ancient baronry, which was a uh, macra colmone. Macra colmone. Yeah. Yes, so that's, it's, that's it's, break it down. It's macra col c u l money and say it quick. Macra Colmone. Easy for you to say. Frank. No, you say it now. Say it quick, you know. Say it macra. <laughs> macra. Col. Col. Money. Money. No, say it all quick together now. Macra Colmone. Close. No, it's not too bad. Okay. And down in Inniskillen, there's an old graveyard. I think it's Old Rosari. Yes. Is that correct? That's right. So we say where I live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there any other around there, old ones like that? Oh, oh most definitely. The, the oldest one probably is the one at the Church of Ireland in Enniskillen, uh, which was part of the remit of the of the, the Englishman William Cole, who was given the job of erecting a shire town or a county town in Fermanagh after the English and Scots arrived here after the defeat of the Maguires. And again, so that about, name about is? About 16, 1618 to 1622, that graveyard would have commenced, so they would have started burying it from that period in time. And there are ancient graves in it. And again, ancient Armstrong graves and, and, and other families that were here. But remember that Inniskillen was mainly a, an English town at the start. And okay. the Armstrongs, as one of those families, as well as all the other Reaver families, were in the Inniskillen parish, which was near Temple, which would have had a massive number of Armstrongs in it. The Temple this parish? Temple parish, massive. Uh, Acra, Macra, no, Macra Kilmoney and North Fermanagh. Uh, Johnsons and, Re and, and Armstrongs here, mainly in this area, and in Ahaloher, which is in uh, Lisnaski, uh, the large, second largest town in Fermanagh, and Lisnaski, and it would have loads and loads of Armstrongs, Johnsons, Grahams, Elliots, all of those names that were all part of the Reavers. Awesome. I noticed today when we were looking at some death records that there were people buried in a cemetery that were pretty far from there, like maybe they, they passed away and went back to where they were born or back where the family started. Is that common? So, so what, what, what are you referring to there? Tell me what you're referring to. In Tempo, we looked at a death record and there was an Armstrong from Bala Mallard yes. buried there. Yes, but remember, from Tempo to Bala Mallard is only about three miles across Across country, not going by in the skin. Yeah. If you go, if you go across the back road, you're talking about three or four miles, no more than that. Would they be buried there because they had family there, or a grandfather, or father, or possibly, yeah, possibly, and possibly they married into Balnamallard Parish, which is Macro Cross. Uh huh. They married into that, and then but went back to the home place to be buried. I see. 
or okay. it could have been vice versa. It could have been the lady was from Tempo and she married a, a farmer from Van Le Matter, Macro Cross. Excuse me, and then when when she went back, she went back home to be buried with her people. Okay. Okay. That uh, explains a lot. Well, it does, and it explains if you think about um, where these people came to originally uh, in in the 1600 period, uh, or in the next plantation period of the 1700s. They came into places that were established family places. It was the same as the ones that left here and went to America. Yes. They didn't go on their own to America. No. They, they went with families from around the area, but they also went to areas that was already established family places. We've seen that repeatedly. Yeah, yeah. Well, Frank, I greatly appreciate it. No problem. I know you're busy, <laughs> no but problem. thank you. And okay. thank you for yesterday. Right. No problem.